to McPherson. Thank you very much, uh, Doogie. And let me say right away with the Dundee United players just having come out on the pitch, and there is a line up tonight. And tragically, Eamon Bannon, unable to play, has bruised ribs. But he'll be sitting beside me, and I'll be talking to him in just a few seconds. Now, both yourself tonight and myself on Saturday night were extolling the virtues of this stadium, or at least the attraction of it. It's an immense piece of architecture. But I can tell you right now that it's only about a third pool. It's a much smaller crowd than was expected. Very difficult to judge because it's uh, an immense stadium, but I would put it no more at the moment than about uh, 20,000. And since uh, the intimidation of the sound of the crowd has been one of the factors that we've always considered about the new camp, uh, it may well be that that will act to the United United's advantage. Certainly the play from what I can see about this stadium at the moment in much more intimidating environment. The other aspect, of course, that is very important, that while outside in the city of Barcelona, there's almost a gale blowing at the moment, because the walls of the terracing are so high, it is very placid and calm down there on the playing surface itself. Hardly a breath of wind at all. And the surface, I think I was hearing John Gregg talk about there, is perfection. And you know that all too well. It was when he played here most, uh, several years ago. And certainly hasn't deteriorated, in fact, it might even be better. In other words, Barcelona, one of the most expensively acquired teams in the world, are fitted into this amazing structure, but at the end of the day, they are playing against the team Dundee United, who are as experienced as any pretty side at this sort of thing. And that, I think, is what Jim McLean has pumped into his players since they arrived in Spain two days ago. 21 years ago, Dundee United kicked off in this very stadium in the Old Bears Cup and went on to record one of the most amazing victories by VD Barcelona by two goals to one. And would you believe they were the first British team to win on Spanish soil in a European competition? And nobody has repeated that feat in all of that time. The very famous goalkeeper so Vizareta getting a good feel of the ball early on. And that is Michele, the man they call Tarzan. The Barcelona people have been talking about Paul Storak and his abilities because they realize that he tore the defense to shreds in the first game. John Holt. Oh, that was surely a push. And the man who was doing the pushing, Mark Hughes. great deal of controversy at the moment about Hughes and sitting way down underneath us is Alex Ferguson, Man Manchester United's manager who apparently has come to have a look at him story run in a paper that he was interested in Paul Sturrock who's now on the ball but that has been denied, Sturrock Geraldo with him Sturrock can't get it back and as I said, sitting beside me is Eamon Bannon. Uh, Eamon, I'm sure you must be disappointed you can't play on an occasion like this. Yes, this is um, possibly one of the player's highlights of his career, and unfortunately I'll have to miss it through injury, and it's a real sickness. Um, I'm just hoping the boys do well. They started, they've started well. They've actually pinned them back a little bit. Um, Paul Sturrock's got a couple of early touches. The kind of start, I think, that uh, was planned by the D United, who quite clearly cannot camp themselves along the edge of their penalty box. We have been told, of course, by the local scribes here that Barcelona are not playing nearly as well as they should. They're certainly very critical of Mark Hughes. He's going through a terrible period at the moment. Well, that was Miguel, he tried to go in there, and I think a challenge by Redford that the referee didn't like. That's a free kick. Just about three minutes gone. We are out here as Marcos. Marcos, free kick.
Buckles is a player that United supporters didn't see at Paradise. He's in the team today, and of course, the big disappointment is Carrasco. Disappointment for Barcelona, that is. He's unable to play. He was suspended. And he was certainly one of the most creative and inventive of players in that first leg. And Gerardo, nice little run on the outside, and that has gone over. Let me repeat that this is a very surprising sight. We were expecting something in the region of 80 to 90,000. Uh, I'll get verification of it from Eamon Bannon, who can cast his eye around like me. It doesn't look nearly that, Eamon. I would think about 30,000. Yeah, 30,000, possibly even less. Very difficult to judge. Um, everyone's spread out all over the stadium. Marco seeing a lot of the ball in the left. Hughes. Every game for this man is a trial now. Getting applause from his supporters. Manolo. Well, that could be cut off by Redford. No, so picked up there by McKinley, the man they call Tarzan. Lindsay touched inside by Victor. And there he is again. United getting players back. There's a wonderful goal. Johnson getting behind that and the United defense for the first time looks slightly nervous. First time we've seen Gary Lineker. He had only one real touch of the ball at Tannadice and he fluffed a chance. I doubt if he gets a repeat of that tonight that he'll make any mistakes. Victor away out on the right. One of the very experienced players, and that will be a goal kick. Billy Thompson. Uh, well, there is Mark Hughes. I was talking to him yesterday, and as, as I said, there's a great deal of speculation as to whether he'll stay on in Spain or not. Keeper committing himself. Well, the man there earns something like four and a half thousand pounds a week. That ball stuck. This is what Stark was doing in the first leg. Good recovery by Gerardo. definitely thought that the right fullback Gerardo was one of the weak links at uh, Teradise. Gerardo certainly couldn't match Sturrock's pace. Nice little nutmeg there, Jim McAnally. Ferguson going forward. Kevin Gallagher. Young lad with a great deal of promise. I watched Kevin Gallagher, that he is just getting into the picture now. I watched him on Saturday. He looked slightly tired. He's had a lot of games. Seven minutes gone, no scoring. Side shot of the, of the United background staff. Stroking the ball about now, building it up from the back. Good 
to swap it in at Tannadice. No great punch down the field, but to build it up. That's a free kick. Marcus brought down. Roberto. Roberto scores a lot of goals from midfield. Miguelli. more than anything else he felt the turf out there was slightly treacherous Victor again there he is pressure on that the reunited defense and the man coming forward Victor you'll see a lot of him in this game there he is going to take the corner kick Victor made his uh, international debut against England. Spain winning 2 1. A lot of freedom at the back there for Monatella. Well, United at the moment coping with a high ball into the penalty area. on his own. No. Slack looking pass back. Well, we have one or two drums in the crowd and it's echoing round a stadium that I would think is barely half full now. Egerty coming in at the back. Paul Sturrock. Billy Thompson and did that well. Oh, but it did, in fact. It's a goal kick. Hey, man, I think one or two players have been uh, slipping on that top. Yes, I was out in the pitch uh, before the start of the game. It was very strange. It actually watered the pitch uh, quite heavily. Look at the sheen on the top. I found that strange after that would have that to uh, that's our team more than it would suit theirs, especially the type of uh, Gary Lineker runs. The ball will skid up the surface. Kevin Gallagher, a little bit unfortunate there. John Holt. Riding back at that, Ferguson trying to cover the goalkeeper. This piece of work there by Manolo. Now Caldeni. Caldera, he keeps his balance. One of the great aspects of Dundee United's consistency in Europe is that, that core of defence they have. Hegarty and Neri. Migueli. Oh, he looked for the one two that come. Holt. Ferguson. And at the back, Moratella. Manolo, all the way through to Billy Thompson, and I would say a fairly satisfactory opening 12 minutes or so. Just the one little scare with Lineker getting a clear sight of goal.
Shot clock. Can he run on the defense? That's clock. Go kick. And the performance so far, Evan, has been steady enough. Yes, I'm also delighted the way the boys have started. Uh, contained them well. Got behind them a couple of times as they did there. Just need to bet them for the next time. Perhaps we will get our chance. Hughes. The arms were out. Elbows swinging again. So typical of them. Trying to find his way back into the favor of the crowd after that. And Gunn didn't want to give up. Marcos. Buying for the shot. Good effort there by Victor. Well, I think Eamon Bannon is absolutely right. Every now and again, if you get a close look at it, you'll see a little spume of sprays coming up. A clear slide along the turf. There is Sturrock. Well, the balls from that flank have not been effective enough. Ferguson. Oh, too obvious. And Holt. Crunching it. But barely. Before there, Manolo. One of the products of the youth system here. the way United are stroking the ball around, going out this penalty area. Stock. That's offside by about 10 yards. Run forward there by Ian Redford. And thus far, the United midfield has kept possession well, and have certainly reduced the ammunition up front for Lineker and Hughes. Calderi. Victor. The man at the heart of the side. Oh, bad ball in the middle. Well, he got behind the United defense for the first time. Stunner. John Holt in the run. He's only his own, though. Stunner. Jim McAnally looking for Ferguson and Gallagher the most expensive goalkeeper in the world Zubizarreta Clark striker turn defender I think there's always a, a worry Eamon about just exactly where you play John Clark. He isn't really a right back, is he? Not really. He moved from centre forward back to centre half. Took him a while to settle in there, but he, he done remarkably well. And really only a player of the class of Paul Hegarty coming back would have uh, displaced him. He's, get, he's settling into the right back position. That's Holt again. Always been a very useful player in Europe, but in the United. And getting the free kick. in attendance but I don't think he was getting anywhere near that towering goalkeeper six feet two
Watch too hard. And Victor is the man who really makes the side tick over. Commands the greatest respect from the Tindy United players. Well, they're making basic mistakes. Ferguson. Holt is in very quickly. Caldini. Marcos. Nice little turn of pace. Caldini. Gerardo. Supplementing that attack, and uh, for the first time in the game, United looks slightly vulnerable in the air in that area. Marcos. kind of player. again, Gary Lineker. Hasn't seen much of the ball, Lineker, but the threat always exists. Playing it square this time. United have everybody behind the ball. Joaquin Ferguson. Took up very good position. And of course, one of his great characteristics is being elusive in a crowded penalty area. That just floated just beyond his reach. by Manolo. That's meant for Sturrock. Gerardo. Well, you can hear the whistling. Exactly what I was suggesting. I have to say that we got the impression from the press and the Barcelona supporters that they expected to win this game 
rather easily. Hughes. Gerardo. Miguelis. John Holt again, very good position. Having an excellent game, putting in a lot of work in midfield, and his timing is excellent. Sorry we haven't had any replays so far. I would like to have seen at least one or two, but... Uh, we're at the command of the Spanish director. Hughes, and that's a very good ball. Gerardo, stuck. By the way, that high shot that we have here, and that's where we are sitting, makes the players look like some beauty of pieces. Gallagher. There is only one result here tonight that would put the game into extra time. And that is for Barcelona to win by one goal to nothing. Once again, the crowd whistling in the background. The score is still nothing each, and we've played 25 minutes. Moratella. Here's Manolo. Typical Paul Hegarty defensive header there, rising strongly to the ball. Must be good for the younger players to see a man like that coming back after a four-month fly-off, playing so securely. Victor. Redford. Jamak and Ali gets a run forward. And Ferguson. Jamak and Ali. Almost equaling that performance he put in in the first leg. Stunner. Nice little turn of pace and nobody in support. And I think, in fact, Gerardo took the sting out of that. And they're getting the back man forward now, but Miguelie coming up. That was Lineker. Marcos. Again, United tightening up the defence. Gallagher, perhaps might be more in the game now, Eamon. Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing so far. Uh, Kevin's not really got a chance to run at that full-back at all. Paul Sturrock down the left-hand side is doing a lot of work, and there's no way he can keep that up for 90 minutes. Kevin could get going, take the load off him a little bit. It would be very helpful. And that's a goal kick. Must have him. Been immensely impressed, even by the, the industry shown. They're working very hard in midfield. And midfield's got a grip of the game at the moment, and that's obviously the important part. Uh, Jim McAnally's playing exceptionally well. Uh, Ian Redford and John Holt are complimenting him. And I think we're beginning to hear the United supporters in one of the very high tiers towering up even over the commentary position. Stunnock. Morris Malthus. Holt. Stunnock on the run again, and he's offside. A beautifully tight run by Stunnock. Oh, uh, no. Let that ball go to the wrong side of him, but uh, give him credit for the run in the first place. 
and United get the first corner of the match. 28 minutes gone. Out to McAnally. There's McAnally support there. Redford. Oh, a little ambitious. Don't give up. He just turned his back on that ball and walked down field. Now, of course, this Barcelona team are perfectly capable of turning on the screw in just go oh, two or three minutes and uh, thus United, even though they're playing well at the moment, must concentrate. There is a long way to go. Free kick to Barcelona. Lineker. trying to maneuver it a little bit. Nice turn there by Hughes. Roberto. Well, number 10, the man you saw striking that ball, has scored very significant goals, not only for his club, but for the under-21 international side, the Spanish international side, for whom he has played. In fact, the so-called front men at Barcelona haven't scored goals for seven games. It's been coming from midfield. Bit of wrestling going on there. Broken up by Malthus. Stunner. Now Redford. giving the impression they have adapted to this pitch very well now. Just giving the impression that if they keep pro, pro, probing, they might get the break. Redford. Ferguson's there as well. It is Ferguson. Ah, there's Zubi Zaneta. Castigating his defense for that. I think he might have been blinded slightly. Good effort by Ferguson. From this side, I'm not quite sure just how high that was over the crossbar. We've now gone 31 minutes. Still no scoring. It's not the most sensational game I've ever seen, but a very capable, professional performance so far by United. Calderi. Very useful player. The problem with Barcelona, he's not seeing all that much of the ball, but forward comes Miguel again. That was Marcos. That was a little bit careless, but there's Kevin Gallagher. Beautifully taken by Holt. Very good football by United again. There's Ferguson round the outside. And he's pulling at the player, and it's a free kick. Pulling away at Moratala. And what I think you're seeing in United's play at this moment is a demonstration that they're certainly not intimidated either by the reputation of the Barcelona team or of this huge stadium. With a support which I say at this moment is very quiet. Roberto. Clark. Seems to shut that slightly, which is rather surprising. And Paul Hegarty. Side 
return of Gary Lineker been very closely watched by Hegarty who's not only a marvellous defender of course but has scored nine goals for Dundee United in Europe and that's Billy Thompson of anybody being overawed, I think it might be Gallagher at this stage, Eamon. Yeah, well, he's not quite got the experience that perhaps, perhaps other players have got in Europe. Obviously, the more games you play, then I think the more settled you become. Well, it seemed to be Ferguson didn't take off quickly enough for that. Which is if he might just get in behind that defence. So, Marcus coolly watched there by Morris Malthus. This is Malthus's 32nd European game. I would say there are about 1,500 maybe, maybe 1,000 Dundee United supporters in the stadium. Holt. situation could be nothing for good United playing very professionally and there's Billy Thompson clean pair of hands Redford Stunnock Morris Malthus run again and Stonek has gone fight. Oh, the final ball has been working on Stonek and Gallagher comes in. And that was a distinction. Brilliant little throw there by Morris Malthus. And now the replay of that brilliant fighting ball there and the youngster perhaps just slightly taking his eye off the ball and that was another excellent move by United. Hughes looking for the shot. Well, I mean, you could call that derision rising around the stadium. Number nine, a kind of marked man. Ferguson. Redford. Well, the whistle hasn't gone. We thought it had. Here's David Neri. Oh, Billy Thompson will be delighted he's had these good saves, Eamon. Yes, he had one good save from Gary Lineker very early on in the match and he's, he's came out and clutched two high balls which are, are really meat to him and uh, Big Tom will certainly get a lot of confidence from that. Balthus, I think a bit of pushing. Free kick to Barcelona and I make it about uh, eight minutes to have time. Deliberating over this one, calling it in is, I think, a corner kick. Does indeed. It 
taken by Victor. Mark Hughes in at the goal post and Lenica. Morris Malthus beside him. Well away from goal this time. And there's Thompson. Ferguson. Well, one wonders if the lights in the stadium put him off for that. It was a very high ball indeed. Almost swamped by the Barcelona players. Getting the free kick for it. Still no scoring. and push, yes. Free kick to Barcelona. Nudging Miguel. Take a little horn signifying that we have five minutes left according uh, to the Barcelona timekeepers. I make it about six, five and a half. Just to play for Valencia, cost uh, 800,000 pounds. We make it exactly five minutes to half time.
fast forward. Nowhere near accurate enough. David Nelly decided to push forward. No outside, Paul Stunner. And obviously Paul Stunner has to come into this game as much as possible. Once again he's showing he has the legs of Gerardo. That was Gerardo looking slightly unsteady. And I'd make it a minute to have time. One nothing for Barcelona. Scorer Calderi. He's delayed off. Marcus. Down there by Redford. Big draw to Marcus. Playing a big part in this game, Marcus. And there goes the halftime whistle. The huge Martinez goalkeeper, Zubita Reza, has the ball as the referee, Carlo Heinz Priestler, brings the first half to an end with United trailing by one goal to nothing. That goal scored by Ramon Calderi. Five minutes to the halftime whistle. Tragedy that they should lose it just then. They uh, played extremely well. They were well organized. Looked extremely solid in defense and had the occasional dangerous break. But now they go in and that long walk, and it is a very long walk indeed to the dressing room uh, for both sets of players and officials. United trailing by one goal to nothing as we go back to the studio in Glasgow. Thank you very much, Dougie. Perfect timing. The second half commences. United trailing by one goal to nothing. And the consensus opinion of all the press I've been talking to at halftime and other supporters is that they've been a little hard done by. And that's not a bad ball. Oh. Red ball. Oh. Done for the chance. Oh. How could he miss it? Great save. Well, he may hold his pace in his hands. I think there was a touch. The goalkeeper definitely saved it. A great save. Well, we'll see from this replay. He committed himself there. That was Redford, and now watch. Paul Scorer hits it, and the goalkeeper got the touch. Corner kick. Well, a very good response by the United to this situation. Coming back, and within a minute, declaring their intention to take the game into that penalty area. I've got to do, get behind them, get crosses in. Paul Sturrock so unlucky there, uh, the goalkeeper. Pulling up a remarkable save, I don't know how much he knew about it. Deflecting well, the ball first, of course. That's a free kick. Square touch uh, by Gerardo. Hughes. Good 
offensive work again by Malpas against this very tough player who is really fighting to win the affection of the Barcelona supporters. Marcos, who's had a very good game, taking this corner kick. Victor tried to put it through. Marcos. Up they go. And away in the far side. Caldieri, the goal scorer. That's the goal kick. Difficult stage there for Dundee United again. Lovely chip ball there. And slightly too high for everybody. Beautiful reverse pass, Sturrock. Malpas. Ferguson. Here's Sturrock. Nice little ball through. Gallagher. And brilliantly saved by Zubita Reza. Off his line instantly. The smaller that. And that's a free kick, surely. Gallagher brought down. Paul Sturrock away in the far side. Certainly, it's a daunting experience for the youngster in a setting like that. But uh, he hasn't given as much as one might have expected. Jim McAnally, beautiful little reverse pass. And that was Redford. Near him, no, but that's put. And the tracks of Hughes. Now Marcus. He's trying to get his shot to the Right at the front, Marcus. We didn't see him at Paradise, but we really have seen him tonight. Very much in evidence on both the left and the right. Getting it to that favorite foot of his. by John Clark. Marcus playing with great confidence. Big draw and away by United to Redford. Now to Ferguson. Paul Sturrock. I think he wanted it back. Sturrock. Gallagher come across to the swing. Good reverse pass. Morris Malpas. Oh, not hard enough. Here's Gallagher. There's the touch across. Terrible 
volleyball just before half time and now the Kamau's played intelligent football, they've been aggressive and that Barcelona goal has been put at risk. You'll be pleased about that anyway, if not the scoreline, Eamon. Yes, it's a, it's a great game now actually, end-to-end uh, -end stuff. Marcus is a danger man for them at the other end, they sent over two great crosses, had a great shot. Uh, but we're doing well, a couple of chances. So, Ian Redford. John Slews, John Holt couldn't quite get the shot in. Up went the hands there as if they thought it might have been a penalty. Snap through. complaint to the referee about handling Gallagher United playing extremely well again this is young this is more like Gallagher going out of defender I'm quite sure his manager must have said something to him at half time to this situation in Europe. There's a lovely touch. Here's Gallagher. He's looking for a little support on his own and he ran out of ideas. And I think Jim McInerney was a bit annoyed with him there. He seemed to give up. Marcos is after this. We're accustomed to this European situation where a team goes one goal in front, but they therefore uh, give the impression that they're fully aware of if they lose another goal, the game might be beyond them. If United could put one in here, then Barcelona will be in real trouble, even though they're one nothing up. Gallagher. There he is again. Victor there. Well, that wasn't a good ball by Victor. Taken well ball by Moratella. Marcos. What an improvement of a game in the second half, all the same. waiting for it. That was good play by Victor again in that defensive situation. And one would have thought that there should have been a run forward by the Barcelona players on the left. Trying to go around there, Holt. Super ball. Marcus. Oh, right behind the defense, Hughes. 
Johnson might just stop that. No, he doesn't. Corner kick. And Hughes being given that opportunity. It was a very quick one. He didn't have much time to get his balance. Yet again, the very good Dundee United defensive formation thwarting him. Trying to put it to the near post. Gallagher was back. Ferguson. And Barcelona pushing forward. Marcus one to one to Bradford. Calderi. Lineker. Gerardo. Calderi, Gerardo. Ball sliding away from him. We've gone. 14 minutes of the second half, Eamon, and uh, I think United's performance in the second half is creditable, to say the least. Yes, if I was a neutral observer, I would think this is a very good game, the second half. Uh, I thought that was one of the better chances uh, just a couple, couple of minutes ago where Marcus was out on the left-hand side, and luckily for us it was a bad ball into the middle. Referee giving the decision to United. Gallagher. Been too easily beaten in certain tackles tonight. John Holt. Getting bogged down. Beautiful play by Lineker. Marcos. Tempting ball, and there's Billy Thompson, and as Eamon said, he's been playing with confidence, good eye, safe hands. Redford. Well, great ball by Redford, one of the best of the night by him. Paul Sturrock to McAnally. Redford. Here's Sturrock. And he does get it over, and there's Zubi Zaneta. Clark. Holt. Run forward there, and no chance. Two Barcelona defenders. And Marcos is limping rather heavily. And I think that has been spotted by the Barcelona bench. They're warming a substitute up. Stunnock. Weaker one. warming up at the moment for Barcelona. Moratella. Kali Lineker has come back very deep. Roberto, Calderi, made a lot of ground tonight, Calderi, Hughes, Calderi, oh, well read by Redford, and a lot of space there for Gallagher, allowing players to come up alongside him, Redford,
bad ball by Red, but giving Gallagher no chance. Well, they got to have the ball hit ahead of them. There's Morris Malpas. Stunnock. Just two marvelous games against Barcelona. No handling. Suddenly Paul Stoddard thought he had. Hughes turns on that and turns well. Again, they're getting players forward as many as they can now. That's Manolo. And Thompson takes it easy enough. Hasn't been bothered by that at all in the air tonight. Well, you're keeping your eye on Gary Lineker there, Bannon. You may have been even mocking him tonight in one sense. Yeah, sorry. He's, he's, he's actually getting a bit frustrated now. He's going back into midfield to try and get things moving along, I think. He's trying to get running out of defence. Shoots us. That was Phil Derry. Gave an almost apologetic wave there to Victor as he passed that ball, as if to say, there's nothing else I could do. Oh, brilliant tackle. That was Malthus. <laughs> that is a lot of European experience, Malthus. Uh, Jim McInally. I don't know why they don't take Marcus off. He's really hobbling. This is really a passenger at the moment. Bradford. McInally. Gallagher was making a run. Exactly 20 minutes gone. <laughs> oh, Redford. And a bit unfortunate there. is on roars of approval from this crowd and from that low shot you're seeing the best of it the upper tiers are virtually empty Morris Malpas Victor Oh, just touched there by John Clark. This is the sub, Rocco. Not high enough, but showing already how tricky he can be. Hughes trying to lay it off. Just gets away with it. Gerardo. I said at the start, and uh, you don't want to tempt Providence, but I did say that the only score that would produce extra time is one nothing tonight for Barcelona. Rocco. Oh, Lineker was screaming and for it in the box. That was Roberto. And that it goes to McAnally. Oh, McAnally rather easily beaten there is Roberto. Hughes. And Barcelona now steadily exerting pressure. Rocco, man who's made a difference, is coming on. 
fresh pair of legs has done this side a lot of good we're halfway through the second half on aggregate one all have to come back for that. Hegarty made his run. He's done that twice in the game so far. Now McInerney. Starrock. Oh, free kick, surely. No? Well, a little unfortunate Starrock, I thought. Looking for his opening. He's only had that one shot at goal. And that was Roberto, he said. Roberto. Coming up, unattended, all the work for him. Lineker has been lying much deeper. He's been really out of touch in this game and has had to go seeking the ball. Rocco, Gallagher back with him. John Clark. And Clark has played steadily enough at uh, right back. I know he's been put yeah. under a little pressure, but... Yeah, they took Rocco there uh, to try and put a bit of pressure on John. Um, and here's Redmond. Still has it as the chip across. Kevin Gallagher. Here's Redford. 
Gallagher. Offside. Victor, the man who's been masterminding the moves in midfield. Lineker, to be said, coming back more and more into midfield to try and pick up. Here's Ferguson just beyond him. Neri. Solid as ever. Always an excellent jumper for the ball. Good timing. Ferguson. Well intentioned there. He had Sturrock coming up in support behind him. Calderi. Aggregate score one all. John Clark away in the far side. Calderi. What a teller looked a little frantic there. He thought there might be a Dundee United player just behind him. Exactly 15 minutes remaining. Barcelona are in the lead by one goal to nothing. The aggregate one all. Neri cuts it off splendidly. Here's Sturrock. Malpas. Trying to strike. Ferguson with it. Gallagher. Again, the youngster finding himself outnumbered and he looks physically quite fragile against these strong Barcelona defenders. You're touching there, Eamon. I didn't see any foul there at all. Matthews grabbed the ball. Free kick to Barcelona. Victor once again with it. Touch there by Lineker. Barcelona get the corner kick. A good attentive piece of goalkeeping. Calderi this time. The hit on cross. Come on there by Morris Balpas. Coming in very strongly. This is where United really have to hold together. Only three players outside the penalty area. That's Gerardo. And yes, pushing that. Victor still pushing excellent passes forward. 
And David Denny always takes the safe way out. He wanted a, a bit of support, somebody coming towards him. Gerardo. Hughes. Another corner. Ten corners to Barcelona in the game thus far with just under 12 minutes remaining. Gallagher stood and watched that. Sarkin defending. United didn't want the prospect or the reality of playing extra time, but at least they are still in the competition. But there is only 11 minutes of the second half remaining Well, Barcelona seem to be picking up the pace of the game, and that is a very strong pass, and Rocco just keeps it in. Very well there, now the comeback is important. just outside the center circle and the referee is not stopping the play there he is just picking himself up exactly 10 minutes left was called Terry and that's a free kick and however innocent Redford tries to appear the referee points to the spot and mutters a word in his ear as he passes free kick Victor is shaping to take this to play it wide. Well, it seems to be that Gallagher went for the ball. Another free kick. United have their players back, and that was ahead of John Clark and McAnally. And hesitation. I'm just wondering even if the, the players have prepared themselves in any way mentally at least for, for extra time. I think they will be now. The sense in the full time is uh, just a few minutes away. Both sets of players are tired. Possibly our boys more than theirs. was a beautiful little ball through but the flag is up on the far side Paul Hagerty obviously recovered that 
Ross Gallagher. Good chance of getting that in the air. Deeply to McAnally. Here's Holt. Now Ferguson. Holt. Ferguson making tracks for the penalty area. McAnally. On towards Ferguson and the linesman has the flag up again. Offside. And it may well be in and we're seeing some uh, at least small signs of leg weariness in one or two players. Yeah, you've seen Victor there well on there miscontrolling the ball with David Neary. That's pure tiredness that caused that. It was good to see our boys keeping possession for a little while, making them run about. Just kept in by Rocco. And United have defended well in this game. So it's been a well-structured defense. Roberto. Caldeni. Easily brushed away. Malpas suddenly finding himself on the outside right position. Oh, it's a great run by Malpas. Trouble is he couldn't play it off. Barcelona got the defence back. Now Stark. All brought on Manley. And they simply haven't been able to cope with Stark. They didn't do it at Canadise where he had certainly a bigger share of the ball. And they haven't been able to do it tonight. So three kicks. The scoreline in the background, aggregate though, is 1 0. Barcelona to canter their way into the next round. 
The semi-finals are looming for United. Certainly deservedly so. I make it exactly two minutes left. United two on up and aggregate. There's Malford. Now, United have a very loyal support, and you can hear them in the background, not the same size of support as other clubs, but I hope this whole of Scotland is rejoicing tonight at what they have accomplished here. There's been no fluke. Redford. Yes, Dunham. I'm keeping possession. And I'm keeping my eye on the watch. Here's Stunnock as door. Side for Stunnock. Could he kill it? There's a chip. He might yeah. be in the 